Hey, wake up! Stand up, there you go. You were dreaming. Not even last night's storm could wake you. What do you say? Where are we? We just arrived in Morrowind, of course. I'm sure they'll let us go. Quiet, here comes the guard. I don't know what happened, but it all started a week ago. I was remembering the good old times and playing Morrowind, and I lost track of time. Late at night, I just fell asleep in front of my PC, and that's when the crazy stuff began. I woke up because I heard the voice of Jube right in front of me. He was addressing me, not my character, but me. I thought I was still dreaming, but I could literally smell the prison ship, and it was all so real. But then, I touched the table on my way to the exit. It was so unmistakably wooden that I knew it was not a dream. So I proceeded to the Census and Excise office, where they gave me my documents. Just for the fun of it, I investigated one of the barrels before entering the second building, and what do you think? I found an enchanted ring there. No inventory for me though, it was just lying on the bottom among some other stuff, and kind of glowed a bit. I looked around, saw no one, and took it, knowing that there will be a person looking for it. And indeed, right after I was released, that Bosmer Fargoth approached me. It felt like I was going crazy, but I still gave him his ring, and just like in the game, he promised to put in a good word for me to. Hmm, long story short, I spent a full day in Sedanine, looking around, talking to people, and actually doing quests from the game. At the time, I was almost ready to stay there for good. But then night came, and I spent a few coins for a bed, anticipating my trip to Balmora the next day. But I ended up wakening in my own bed. I mean, my real-world bed. I felt a little sad because, you know, it's not an everyday thing that you wake up in one of your favorite video games. And it seemed as if I never actually went anywhere. Everything was absolutely normal, just the way it always is. So I shook it off, sighed, and went about my daily business, recording voiceover and stuff. The following night, I tried to play a little bit of Minecraft. Yeah, I do that from time to time to relax. This time though, a weird idea came to me. What if I stay up late again and see what happens? I mean, I'd already been to Morrowind. Why not the Minecraft world? So I stayed in the game until I dozed off. I don't remember exactly when it happened, but the next moment I really found myself in the world made of blocks. After the realistic experience of the Elder Scrolls, it was unsettling. I looked at my hands, and they were made of blocks too. I woke up in a forest biome so that everything around me was lush green, but there was also a cave nearby with its ceiling half collapsed. I took a pickaxe from my back, how the heck did it appear there, and went to explore. I hacked through the fallen blocks, wondering what I'd find inside. Maybe some treasure, or an enderman, or, I don't know, a cow. Anything might happen. I was excited to find out. I cleared my way to the dungeon and went carefully forward lighting the way ahead with a torch that also ended up being on me. I don't know how long it took, but what I clearly remember even now is that horrible hissing sound that I heard at some point. It would have been okay if it had only been one, but there were at least a dozen. Gosh, did I run for my life? I heard explosions behind me but didn't turn around to look. One of them could be right on my heels for all I knew. When I finally rushed out into the daylight, I realized why the ceiling of the cave had collapsed in the first place. Of course, when there's a nest of creepers inside, it's only logical. I spent the rest of the daytime exploring the glades and woods. By the way, the day lasted just like it would in the real world, not only 20 minutes. By the nightfall, I got a bit tired, so I settled down, built myself a lean-to, and made a fire. At some point, I started feeling sleepy. 
but I didn't really want to leave the place so soon. I fought sleep as hard as I could, building stuff and reducing it to nothing just for the fun of it. That is, until I heard that sound, like the rustle of wings. Phantoms. I knew it was them. Although I only not slept for a single night, I guess the rules are different in that real Minecraft world. I braced myself for the encounter, and there they were, swarming onto me. I fought hard and won in the end, but I was absolutely exhausted afterwards. I suppose I had no choice but to lie down and have a nap. I fell asleep very quickly, just hoping it wouldn't end like the previous time. Yet, it did. I woke up again in my own bed, but I was decided to try once more with a different game, and I had a little bit insane idea about what it could be. What would your choice be, I wonder? Let me know down below. I spent the whole day in anticipation. I'm not that much of a gamer, you know, but, but all this was so exciting that I couldn't really concentrate on anything else but my next virtual adventure. And finally, the hour came when I could forget about other things and plunge into playing. And the game I chose was Fortnite. No, I didn't give in to all the hype around it. I wanted to actually see what it would be like to participate in a battle royale from the first-person perspective. I mean, if I could travel into single-player games, then what's it like to find myself in a multiplayer one? I couldn't resist the temptation. Now, I'm not into that sort of game, so I can't say I enjoyed playing it very much. And so, there I was, falling from the sky to the unbelievably realistic grounds, holding tight to my umbrella. If I've ever seen absurd, that was it. It was one thing seeing it on the screen of my PC, and a whole other to feel the wind gushing through my pants as I descended to some huge patch of land. And the fact that I was aware of what awaited me down below didn't really help me curb my heart rate. I finally landed and ran to the nearest shelter right away. It was so weird feeling my legs working and realizing that someone might appear from behind any wall or tree at any moment with their intentions being anything but good. I saw some gear and tried to take it like I did while outside the game. And darn it was heavy! I was completely unprepared for that kind of ordeal. Anyway, I somehow managed to take what I needed, but I was winded almost from the moment I left the shelter. I decided to wait it out and hide for the time being restoring my strength and air in my lungs. I sat with my back to some tree and watched my surroundings intently for any signs of other players. Or were they really players? Could it be that I wasn't alone in that strange world? I waited patiently, and after some time, I saw it. There was someone running across the glade I was facing. The first surprise was that the guy looked exactly like Keanu Reeves and John Wick. The second, that he ran and jumped as if he wasn't carrying something huge and heavy in his arms. And the third, well, that I felt a sudden hit to my head and lost consciousness. I guess that was the end of it. I came round at home again, as I always did after my adventures. But this time, I felt it was different. Both the first and the second time, I simply fell asleep in the game world. Well, now I'd been, well, obliterated. My head hurt. So I took some painkillers and went for breakfast. But I was already thinking whether I'd be able to come back to that world, or to any other for that matter. I spent the day in an autopilot mode, and as soon as I had the time, I launched Fortnite again. I played until I fell asleep again, and woke up in what felt like a couple of hours, lying face down on my keyboard. Yep, that was really the end. I still don't know if it was all a very vivid dream or a real thing, but I'd be sure to repeat it if I had the chance. Ah well, who knows? Hey, if you learned something new today, then give the video a like and share it with a friend. And here are some other videos I think you'll enjoy. Just click to the left or right, and remember, stay on the bright side of life.